If you're a CNC user, you know how important it is to have a reliable and intuitive control system. And today in the Project Dreamers workshop, we're going to unveil one of the biggest upgrades we've made this far, the Masso CNC controller. The Masso CNC controller is packed with features that completely transform how you run your machine. From its massive 15-inch touchscreen to its advanced stepper motor feedback system, it's designed to take your CNC experience to the next level. Let's dive into what this thing can do. First off, let's talk about the Masso's 15-inch touchscreen. It's massive, clear, and responsive. No more squinting at tiny screens or mistapping buttons. Plus, the controller boots up in less than 10 seconds. It's one of those features that just makes everything smoother. Once the Masso system is online, reset the e-stop and press the homing button to prepare the machine for operation. One feature we really appreciate is the closed loop feedback system for the stepper motors. This ensures that even if the machine gets a little off course, it'll adjust automatically, keeping everything running smoothly. Slicing through our book box at 200 inches per minute, Masso stays rock solid, never missing a beat. The Masso is a standalone controller, meaning it doesn't rely on a separate computer running a bunch of background tasks. This greatly reduces the risk of crashes, freezes, or delays in the middle of your project. It's dedicated and stable, and that makes a huge difference when you're working on time-sensitive tasks. The Masso controller empowers us to bring ambitious, high-precision projects to life. Projects that would have been out of reach without its reliability, simplicity, and powerful capabilities. Warming up your spindle is important, and Masso makes it simple. To get started, go to the F2 Program and MDI screen. In the input box, enter your desired spindle speed. Then press Spindle CW to begin the warm-up cycle. You can warm up your spindle using the MDI screen, but this way is much faster. Another great feature is the pause and resume function. If something goes wrong or you need to make a quick adjustment, you can pause the machine, make the change, like adding a clamp, and resume the job right from where you left off. After pausing the machine, I secured my workpiece with some pin nails before resuming the cut. And resuming the cut is as simple as turning the spindle back on and hitting the green cycle start button three times. And from the look of the cut, you'd never know we paused it midway. Another handy feature is the jump to line function. If you need to skip ahead or back in your G-code, you can do it quickly, saving time without restarting or reloading the project. This is a huge time saver for troubleshooting or making on the fly adjustments. Simply follow these steps. Then click on the jump to line box and you're gonna type in your G-code line number, then click on start from line, then hit run. A box will appear asking if you'd like to resume your program. You want to hit OK, and then your green Cycle Start button. It will jump your cut to the line you entered. Finally, you'll want to hit Cycle Start one more time and your cut will resume. Uploading G-Code to the Masso is a breeze. Whether you're using a USB stick or Wi-Fi, it's quick and seamless. No more worrying about file compatibility or slow transfers. The system reads your files instantly, so you can get started on your project without delays. Although this is simple and straightforward, Wi-Fi is even easier. The Masso link resides on our desktop. We're going to click on it. Then drag our file into the Masso link and hit Send File. This will send the file to the USB that is plugged into your Masso. From here you can load the file as we did earlier using the same exact steps. The Masso controller also makes it easy to upgrade your system. Whether you want to add an MPG controller, tool changer, Z0 block, or a rotary axis, Masso supports all of these upgrades and more with plug-and-play compatibility, thanks to dedicated ports at the rear of the unit. The Masso tool setter measures each tool during the change process, establishing a reference surface that all tools are compared against. It automatically compensates for variations in tool length, ensuring precise and consistent results with every bit change. So there you have it. It's an amazing upgrade to our Onefinity Elite Foreman, and it's designed to work with other machines like plasma cutters and milling machines. Whether you're looking to improve your current CNC setup, the Masso is a great choice. And we found that the Masso provides excellent customer support, so if you ever run into any issues, you're in good hands. It's a solid, future-proof investment that helps you grow without adding any unnecessary hardware.